In lesson four, we're going to be comparing and ordering fractions and mixed numbers using like fractions. So our first step, since three-tenths and one-fourth do not have the same denominators, so we're going to have to find least common denominators, just like we found least common multiples. We're going to start with the higher denominator, 10, and we're going to list its multiples until we find something that 4 can go into. Except we're not going to use the multiple of 0, since 0 can never be a denominator. So we'll start with 10. 10 times 1 is 10. Can 4 go into 10? No, so we have to go again. 10 times 2 is 20. Can 4 go into 20? Yes. So we're using 20 as our least common denominator. Now to change over the fractions from 3 tenths to 20th and 1 fourth into 20th, we're going to have to use um, what we did in the equivalent fractions lesson back in lesson 1. We have to ask ourselves 10 times what is 20? And that's 2. So we multiply 3 times 2, which is 6. So 3 tenths equals 6 twentieths. 4 times 5 is 20. 1 times 5 is 5. So that means 1 fourth equals 5 twentieths. Now that we have like fractions, we can compare the fractions that are like 6 tenths and 5 twentieths. 6 twentieths is larger than 5 twentieths, so that means 3 tenths is greater than 1 fourth. We try the same thing over here with two-thirds and three-fourths. We start with the larger denominator, four, and we're going to list its multiples until we find something that three can go into. We start with four, but three can't go into four. Four times two is eight. Three can't go into eight. Four times three is 12, so we'll use 12 as our least common denominator since three can go into 12. So we're going to have to change two-thirds into twelfths, and we're going to have to change 3 fourths into 12ths. Back on 2 thirds, 3 times what is 12? That would be 4. 2 times 4 would be 8. So 2 thirds equals 8 twelfths. 3, 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 would give us 9. So 3 fourths equals 9 twelfths. So once again, we're going to compare the like fractions. 8 twelfths and 9 twelfths. Since 8 twelfths is less than 9 twelfths, 2 thirds is less than 3 fourths. For number 14, we'll follow the same procedure. Even though we have mixed numbers, we still will have to make like fractions. When you make like fractions with a mixed number, you're going to do the same steps with the exception of having a whole number in there to bring over. Everything else is the same. We'll start with the larger denominator, 14, and we'll ask, can 7 go into 14? Since 7 can go into 14, 14 is our least common denominator. 7 times 2 is 14, 2 times 2 would give us 4. So 3 and 2 sevenths equals 3 and 4 fourteenths. On this side, the denominator stayed the same. Well, if the denominator stayed the same, then the numerator is going to stay the same. So once again, we're ready to compare our like fractions. We have 3 and 4 fourteenths compared to 3 and 5 fourteenths. Since 3 and 4 fourteenths is less than 3 and 5 fourteenths, that means 3 and 2 sevenths is less than 3 and 5 fourteenths. Now to put fractions and mixed numbers in order, we do need to find, like, to find common denominators and write like fractions like we did to compare. It's always important to double check your directions to make sure you're putting them in the correct order. For number 19, we're being asked to put these in order from least to greatest. Since all of the denominators are different, our first step will have to be to find that least common denominator. We'll still start with the highest one, which is 10. 10 times 1 is 10. And can 5 go into 10? Yes. Can 2 go into 10? Yes, it can as well, so 10 will be our least common denominator. 5 times 2 is 10. 4 times 2 is 8. Here the denominator stayed the same, so the numerator will stay the same as well. We're 4 and 1 half. 2 times 5 gives us 10. 1 times 5 is 5. So we're going to use these like fractions here to help put these in order. Since all of the whole numbers are the same, we need to use the fractions to put them in order. The lowest one would be 4 and 5 tenths, so that means 4 and 1 half would be least. 
4 and 7 tenths is next in line. 4 and 8 tenths would be the greatest, so 4 and 4 fifths would be our largest mixed number. We try that again with fractions. We start with the 9 because it's the highest denominator. 9 times 1 is 9. 3 can go into 9, but 2 cannot. So we have to continue with our multiples of 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 3 can go into 18, and 2 can go into 18. So 18 is our least common denominator. 3 times 6 is 18. 2 times 6 is 12. 9 times 2 is 18. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 9 is 18. 1 times 9 is 9. Using the like fractions, we can put the original fractions in order, again, from least to greatest. And instead of rewriting them as we did in the last problem, you can just number them. Using the like fractions, 9 18 is the least, so that would make 1 half the least fraction. Out of 12 18 and 10 18, 10 18 is less, so 5 9 would be second, leaving 2 thirds as our greatest fraction.